Howdy folks, Corey here with Android Community. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new widget for Android called Blingboard. Um, as you can see here, I've got it running. It's called Blingboard Social Widget. And it's actually like a the ultimate like all-in-one widget for Android. I mean, it's you get missed calls, you have text messages, you have Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, and a couple other things you can add to that if you'd like. And then it's all easily accessed from the bottom. It's actually really cool. We were just tipped off on this, so I figured I'd show everyone. But uh, let's see here real quick. If you go into the actual Bling Board app, um, here it is. You can see when you start, you're in like a settings page, Gmail, Facebook. I haven't signed up with Facebook yet, Twitter, and then general. And then uh, when you start the app, it shows you this nice little user interface. It's actually really easy and really smooth, really polished. You come in here and it explains everything. You know, the refresh button and quick reply, and then you can scroll back and forth between messages, Twitter accounts, um, Twitter feeds, you know, emails, missed calls, you can, you can do everything. And then right here you can clear all of them real quick and easy with this little sweeper. And over here you can, you know, set it all up. And this is kind of their little guide. But real quickly, I'll go back to the actual widget. And there it is. Um, it takes a pretty good chunk up on your screen, and then you can scroll through between multiple, you know, messages on Twitter. I don't have Facebook, but if you go into your, you know, your your Gmail, and then right there you can see the 20 of 20 new unread tweets, and then you can go into messages and scroll between your text messages. Um, I took off the name on that one just to take off the name, but uh, pretty neat. And then you can go into missed calls, and missed calls will show you, of course, missed calls. So it's you know pretty standard, pretty self-explanatory. Then you, know, you can hit the the refresh button and and it'll refresh everything and it does it all in one run. You can see upgraded, updated all the different stuff between my uh, text message and then the Gmail and then uh, Twitter. So it updated them all at once and then when you're on you know, Twitter and you're scrolling through, go to something like that from Android and uh, if I hit the button right there, it's like the reply button but uh, it, it, it actually doesn't launch my Twitter um, application which is TweetDeck. Instead it launches uh, right to the Facebook, I mean right to the right to the, the Twitter you know account website so that's one thing they could probably you know change or fix that because in here you can hit reply and it'll go right there and you can click the button and go right to a reply and reply to your text message so it works with that it works with the third-party text message client but for Twitter it didn't seem to work um, which is a shame and then Gmail and then the missed calls obviously you can scroll through them here with the two arrows and then instantly hit the button and you're calling the person right back, which is our good pal Chris Burns over there from Slash here in Android Community. So that was just a quick look at the all new Blingboard social widget. Um, it's like an ultimate all in one widget. I'm actually kind of digging it. It's pretty nice, pretty smooth. And then uh, you know, right there, you can clear the phone call, and then there you have a nice clock. So it's kind of an all in one, like I said, clock, you know, a clock, a clock widget, and then it's got all those other things. Then right here, you can hit that settings button and come back in here and at Facebook, you know, a couple other things. You can change all kinds of stuff in here with the refresh intervals. We have one minute for that, um, for Twitter, and you can you can change the interview intervals for all that. But it's it's pretty decent. Um, it was just released. It looks pretty new, and uh, so far I'm liking it. So there it is, Bling Board widget for Android. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.